you're in caveman's corner i don't know how you got here but thanks for coming who is the greatest of all time this question's coming up a lot habib says he wanted to be considered the greatest of all time what do you guys think i've been thinking about this all day all night even this morning i guess it really depends on how you rank the greatest of all time to me habib is the only one that isn't defeated so if you rank it on pure numbers habib is number one now when you think about most dominant champion of all time who do you think as good as habib is i don't think of him first to me, probably the greatest of all time if you consider when they're at their peak in their career and not their career as a total would probably be Anderson Silva. No one was more scary than Anderson Silva. When Anderson fought, he was something very special. We haven't really seen that too much today. I guess Stylebender is the guy that's the closest to that right now. As good as Stylebender is, Man, he might be the next guy. We don't know. Only time will tell. If he can run through a whole bunch of people, we'll see. Then you got to go to GSP. 170, 185, maybe Triple C, too. Two weight class champions. Um, Conor McGregor, 45, 55. Uh, is that more important than no win or no losses? Is that more important than no losses? What do you guys think? I mean... I think when you go greatest of all time, you have to have very clearly defined um, measures. I mean, is it wins? Is it most dominant in the career? Is it uh, most dominant over the entire career? Because if you're talking about most dominant over the entire career, you maybe have to talk about Fedor as well. Uh, Fedor and Pride was the biggest, baddest heavyweight of all time. And then maybe you go Sakuraba if you consider pound for pound champion. He fought everybody. He fought steroided up monsters over in Pride. And uh, he did well. He was a Gracie hunter. And then you got him fighting guys that are, you know, like 60, 70 pounds heavier than him. And obviously you're going to take losses when you fight like that. And we can't talk about greatest of all time without hitting John Jones. I mean... He's done everything that you, you can ask him to do. He does have a loss, even though it's a bullshit loss. I mean, he threw illegal elbows. They warned him a few times before they stopped that fight, but he was still DQ'd. Um, he has had a couple fights where maybe you could say he didn't win, but you can't really say that because he did win, right? He has not been defeated by anyone but himself. You can't look at it well, i guess you can depend on how you're rating this but you can't really look at what happens outside the cage um and compare it to what happens inside the cage he's moving up to heavyweight i think if he wins the heavyweight title there's no way you cannot say he's not the greatest of all time no matter what happens inside or outside the cage um that dq is the only reason why i would put habib over him personally um and I think if you're talking about the greatest pound-for-pound pound fighter, you have to put uh, Triple C in the mix. You have to put um, <clears throat> you have to put Mighty Mouse in the mix. There's a whole bunch of people that also can qualify for the greatest of all time. Um, best trash rocker of all time, though, has got to be Conor McGregor for sure. Triple C can't win there. Uh, I'm glad Chael Sonnen started bringing that into MMA. Even though it's a little bit pro wrestling, I really like it. If you look at Habib, Habib over his career never really trash talked, and he's still considered one of the most dominant fighters of all time. So, I guess my greatest of all time would be Habib. What is your guys' greatest of all time? Let me know. Hit the comments. Um, hit us up on Facebook. Hit us up on Instagram. Hit us up on any anywhere that we're at. All right, hit us up because we want to hear from you guys. Who do you guys think is the greatest of all time? Make sure to like Caveman's Corner on Facebook and definitely click subscribe right now. You'll keep up to date with MMA news. You can hear our podcast and see our funny videos. Click subscribe and the bell. Do it now!